So what we're gonna do is build a, a smoker out of trees. It's something I've wanted to do for a super long time. It's, I think, fairly straightforward. We're gonna just do like a straight salt and pepper on a few pieces and smoke it and make jerky. We're making venison jerky in a wild outdoor smoker. That sounds amazing, man. <laughs> building a tent with three or four posts, cover it with some really nice either like cedar boughs or some spruce branches, whatever we can find. It's a little bit windy today, so I don't want a ton of wind kicking up smoke all over the place and blowing it outside of the smoker. So I'm looking for like a nice quiet place. There's a lot of hills here, so probably on the downside of a hill. We'll have, we'll have to hike a little bit. We're a little bit lower out of the wind and we've got a decent wall behind us here because the wind's coming from the north. We want the ground to be a little bit moist and wet and we can clear out some of this to build a fire on the ground. I'm just gonna build the teepee right here. Let's get these guys out of the way. Yeah, I like this spot. That's a workout. So I've got this sweet little roll of really strong wire and it's used typically for like making flower arrangements and stuff like that. But it's like super strong, really easy to cut with a knife or a pair of scissors and it just bends and twists. It's like using string, but just a lot more hardy. So I'm just going to wrap this thing up as much as I can. I'm just going to get my structure going. So I'm going to do. So now I'm just going to make sure that I've got some branches that are cut pretty much the same lengths. Do some cross braces a little higher up because I don't want the meat once we put it on a shelf i don't want it right into the fire i just want it to like be out of the heat and to get smoked and then we'll close it all in with branches and i think the opening naturally is going to be on this side because the wind's all coming from that way it's not going to be a dehydrated jerky it's just going to be like thin slices of meat that are really smoked and get cooked with just the smoke kind of bellowing over it the whole time Because the wind is swirling around in here and I don't really know what my smoke's going to do, I'm going to just build a fire in here and get it smoking just to see what happens. What I ideally want is that smoke going straight up and I'll probably have to build a little face in here yet just to kind of close it in so the smoke stays really tight to the meat. The aroma of spruce is kind of cool. It's nostalgic and it's uh, it actually tastes really nice. The biggest thing is just smoldering. So I'm going to get the fire with a flame on it first and then kind of let it die, mix it around a little bit and just get that smoke rolling. If I had a big flame, I could set this thing up pretty quick. Yeah. So it's gonna be small. If the smoke goes straight up and catches the meat, we're in super, super good shape. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so damp. Yeah. 
Yeah, so perfect. The fire's coming right at me. Which is exactly what I didn't want. Now, when the wind dies like this, this is perfect. Like our smoke's doing exactly what we needed to do. I'm gonna get the meat prepared, get it on the rack. As the meat's kind of like doing its thing, I can dance around this fire as much as I want. I've got a amazing piece of venison sirloin and I'm gonna slice it up into a bunch of thin strips, much like you would when you're making jerky. Cut it up, season it up, put it on the racks, and at that point I'm just waiting. I'm managing the fire, managing the flame, making sure it doesn't burn down. The other bonus part to this whole thing is that I purchased a really nice piece of fresh salmon, and I've always wanted to do fish in one of these smokers. I'm gonna salt, salt and pepper that up really simple again and get that on there and smoke that as well. that this whole unit would greatly benefit from having a door. It's going pretty good so far, like the meat's getting warm, it's getting some smoke, which is great, but I think if I can get that little extra bit of security and the smoke that's kind of pushing out from the wind, if it could just stay in a little longer, that'd be awesome. So I'm just gonna give that a go. So I'll basically build an A-frame style door with a little bit of a low cross brace and we'll fill this in with pine boughs and hopefully they'll do the trick. Your door has been working amazingly well and just closing in all that smoke. Let's remove the door and take a little, little look see in here. This meat is like getting a lot of really good smoke on it. I think what I'm gonna do is just like really keep that smoke rolling for the next little bit here. And then I'm gonna turn that temperature up a little bit just by feeding more wood into the fire. Let's close this up because we're losing smoke. And we might end up, uh, yeah, with something to eat in the next half an hour or something here, which is pretty awesome. Call me out for my sinner's bones Call me out to the pile Open wide his fire warm for burning This meat is, it's perfect. It smoked for a few hours at least, but I just cranked the heat up a little bit as you can see and uh, had the meat just sort of directly under the flame. You can see it just pulls apart super nice. It's just sort of cooked through. It's a little juicy inside. Lots of moisture still. Super red because of the smoke. This is nuts. This is amazing. Grab that. This is so good. 
It's got a little like crunch to it. For a piece of meat that hasn't been like soaked in a brine, which would normally give it that like sticky jerky texture and give a little bit of moisture inside. That is just nice and juicy. Man, it's good. So this salmon, it's just really nice and moist inside. Oh man. That skin sort of just like, all the fat that was in there sort of rendered out. I'm definitely eating that skin. That just turned out amazing. The wind was definitely a bit of a factor, but once I made that door and kind of closed everything in, it worked out really, really well. So I think that design wise, this height, like the distance from the flame was perfect. Yeah, I don't know if I'd change a whole lot. I think I'd really like to try with cedar because cedar will cover a lot and it lays a lot flatter than something that's like a pine or a spruce bough. These are pretty fluffy. So I think trying with cedar would be really cool. I think cedar would have a really nice aroma to it as well. A vision of uh, a wild bushcraft smoker kind of come to life. First time doing it and I think it's a huge win. You see them up there? There's like a hundred of them in the air, man. They're, they're Listen swarming. to that. Well, this is what clean up a deer real quick. <laughs> 